Hey, hey, everybody, Kevin here with Pursuing Pixels, and I'm going to be playing some Bonito Days here, and we're just going to get right into the action. This is a uh, kind of monkey ball inspired, and in, in particular, monkey target, if anybody remembers that specific mini game. Uh, but this is uh, multiplayer focused, although obviously I'm playing single player here, and you're just kind of going for like high scores on each stage. There's like a series of like circuits or like cups, kind of almost like Mario Kart style, where there's like five stages, and you basically launch yourself, and then you can fly. And, or it's more gliding because you uh, are limited to how long you can fly, but I just absolutely love the aesthetic of this game. And again, it's definitely ideal for uh, multiplayer, but I'm having a blast playing by myself, to be frank. Um, and you really got to watch your momentum and your sense of like on the left there, you can see like my sense of elevation, but you can see my character is kind of starting to sweat, but I can also do a little bit of a dive, but I'm also looking to land on some targets. Uh, which I don't think I'm going to make on this first one, but uh, we'll play like the first few circuits here and you get three tries per stage. Uh, yeah, I'm definitely not going to make it to any uh, solid ground here anywhere, but there's even like hidden paths and stuff. So I'll try to see if I can find like a second launch point. Like at first you kind of feel like, okay, you just got to go down your main path, but you can kind of launch yourself up these vert ramps here. And there's like score multipliers. There's the hearts just give you like uh, bonus points. But again, you kind of if you wait a little longer and while you're dipping, you can see here I'm flying. I guess it's not extremely noticeable, but yeah, I get, I'm flying quite a bit faster um, or gliding. I got to keep using the right terms here. But yeah, here's a here's one of the targets. But I'm gonna forego that one, although. I think I might have made a mistake there, but let's see if I can maybe make my way back up towards this target. Oh, I can, but oh shoot, this thing is... Oh, let's get it, let's get it. Oh, give me the bullseye. Oh, oh, even better. The bullseye is not worth as much points. I got the max, I think, on that. 200, yeah, baby. All right, so yeah, um, I'm just gonna play a handful of stages here, and I think you'll be able to tell pretty quickly if this is something that's up your alley or not. And if it is, uh, I believe this one I'm playing on Nintendo Switch, and to the best of my knowledge, it's actually, I think, the only place it's available at at the moment, uh, but I could be wrong. Uh, but let's see if there's anything up here. I haven't gone over here yet. Ooh, and these are items that kind of just give you, like, a power-up for the stage. Uh, let's see, is there any way to go here? Yeah. Um, and the camera controls are kind of awkward at first, or at least they're not. Uh, you don't use the right stick. You actually use the uh, um, shoulder buttons to control the... Uh, camera so that takes just a little getting used to um but once you get the hang of it it's definitely not uh anything that's game breaking or anything like that at all it actually kind of helps uh in the sense i feel like you'd be just frantically whipping around all over the place oh come on get there ah oh, you piece of garbage <laughs> well at least i didn't uh lose points um or i didn't fall in the water and get no points i guess but um, yeah, basically there's five different stages. I'm doing the herb cup or the herb cup, the herb cup. What am I doing? Um, <laughs> but yeah, all the stages are pretty different too. Like there's quite a few different stages too. Some of the cups have like overlapping, like they use the same, uh, map or whatever you want to call it. Uh, but yeah, I haven't, I actually haven't done this one yet, but I really like, yeah, you can see how like some of the bullseyes have a opening in the middle or some of the targets you're aiming for. But this one's more of a stand. Oh, you know what? I think I did do this one. Um, but yeah, I just, I love the music. Absolutely love the aesthetics. Um, and again, you can see here, like this is a much more open stage. So I'm going to be more looking to, instead of like rolling around at the beginning, you're just hitting the ramp right off the bat and zipping around and seeing how many hearts you can collect basically and maybe finding some hidden, uh, yeah, score multipliers like this one. Um, let's see if I can... Uh, let's, you know what, let's go for the further one. I don't know, this might have been a mistake. Um, oh, you know what, I can keep gliding, but you're also, you gotta watch out for that timer. Oh, these go into the water, dang, these go low. Oh, I'm not gonna have enough juice. Oh, I'm not gonna have enough juice. What was I doing? Not even close. Let's give me some safe landing, maybe? Okay. And you get some... I don't know if the hang time gives you some kind of multiplier, but um, obviously I'm not getting very many points there, but... Um, and you know what? I don't even know if you technically get the points if you don't land on one of the targets, so... Let's find out. Let's go off to the right here this time. Um, but obviously, again, yeah, the, so some of the stages are going to be more open-ended where you're able to kind of, like, challenge your friends so you can get the high scores. Again, I, I, this is really multiplayer-focused, um in the sense of, you know, you're really just going for the high scores, which is, if you know me at all, you know I'm a sucker for uh, <laughs> that kind of gameplay, um, and especially when you add the competitive element of uh, playing with your friends. 
um, and challenging them for high scores. Uh, unfortunately, it's only local multiplayer. I shouldn't even say unfortunately, because this is like the perfect kind of party game. The controls are pretty simple. Uh, get used to them pretty quick. Again, it does take just a little getting used to, but um, let's do this one and then maybe one more stage. I'd like to keep these videos short and sweet, but uh, we'll see. Maybe I'll end up going through the whole circuit because this game is just too much freaking fun. Okay, let's try to get up here quick and then dip down. And I like how like the hearts almost have like a like yeah this like air path that you like clearly see like okay maybe I want to follow that uh, pattern or they at least kind of give you an idea of which direction to head next if you're trying to collect the hearts at least okay that's not a bad little grab what's up here because you don't okay this is I'm, I'm screwed oh stay ah dang it whoops a daisies oh man. But yeah, I don't know if it just takes your best score. No, I think it uh, adds everything together. I was going to say, I don't know if it takes your best uh, total from each uh, of the three attempts or if it uh, adds them all together, but I think I only landed once there, so <laughs> at least only once in the target zone. Um, and it does say aim for the target, so yeah, maybe you, maybe landing on solid ground doesn't really do you anything like when I landed on that little uh, floating boulder island thing. Um, that one time, I don't think that actually salvaged me any points there, but let's head on over to the, uh, Bubble Tea Lake. I'm guessing this, this stage might be a little bit bigger based on how long it's taken to load here. Let's go, baby. Oh, yeah. Oh, I did play this one. Collect the most sweets. So this doesn't necessarily say to aim for the targets. Just collect the most sweets. Okay. So maybe there's different, uh, objectives. I've mostly been aiming for the targets, I thought, but... I guess maybe I'm just looking for the sweets here. Oh, yeah. I'm zippity doo da day, baby. God, I love the music of this game so much. And, yeah, there's this stage has, like, these speed boosters. Yeah, I did play this one earlier. Um, this stage is really, really fun. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, baby. Yeah, the flying, you're gliding, but you gotta watch the timer on this one. Um, feels so good. I wonder, maybe you just fly the whole time, if if you're able to. Um, you know, if I'm able to keep hitting these speed bursts enough, I should be able to stay airborne uh, for the duration of this. Let's go. I oh, mean, I'm glad I played this stage with realizing that, uh, that, yeah, I don't think there are any targets to aim for. I could be wrong. But I think I'm just trying to fly my way around. God, this song is so good. Yeah, because there's no items. Because sometimes the items are like more like, oh, you're like an anvil. So you'll, as soon as you hit the ground when you drop the target, you're you won't like turn into a ball and roll. You'll you still turn into a ball, but you'll just like drop like a like an anvil. Um, stay airborne, baby. Okay, okay, yeah, I'm just trying to collect as many, and then apparently you just get launched into oblivion. Oh, you only get one attempt on that one. Oh, whoa, okay. Okay, so let's do this whole cup. Let's do this whole cup and head on over to Slushy Camp. Aim for the targets. Okay, so I gotta pay attention to what the objective is here. Um, again, it was the targets on every other stage except that last one, but... Let's go. Ooh. The wrong way with the camera there for a second, but yeah, this one's just building up speed, baby. Oh yeah, I did this one earlier too. So yeah, these are, I haven't done this cup myself, um, but I've done some of the other cups, and yeah, there's been a little bit of overlap in the stages, but I think there's five different cups with five uh, courses or maps or whatever you want to call these levels each. Um, and I would say that is more than enough here to just, especially again with the multiplayer uh but uh, when you have all these different, like, routes you can take and stuff, it's, you know, there's plenty to do and play. It's just, I don't know, it's a game that has plenty of replayability. I'm kind of fumbling over my words here while I see if there's somewhere I can land. Let's get some hang time. Oh, way too much hang time. Maybe some backspin. Oh, oh, I had the magnet. That's right. So the magnet let me just, like, stick as soon as I landed. Oh, it's only 50 just because I'm on the line. Get the fuck out of here. Okay. Let's show them how it's done. Once again, we got another great, like, really, like, peppy tunes, but also really chill at the same time. I really love uh, everything about the aesthetic of this game. Oh, man. Maybe dipping a little too low there. Flying a little too close to the sun. Oh! 
This one, I get this item all the time. I actually don't know exactly what this one does, this, like, juice bottle. But I really like uh, this stage, too, kind of like a ski resort almost. And again, I got to watch the timer, although I got plenty of time. I got over a minute if I can stay airborne here. Now, will this change the item I have? Oh, it does. Magnet again, baby. So I'm kind of going the same path I went last time, but I'm running out of a little bit of steam. Although you, you seem like you, you can go a little bit longer than you think you can. And you can build up a little bit more speed. You can't go crazy and, like, you know, dip down, dip back up. Oh, no, I have no chance. Oh, oh, give me there. Please give me there. Get it. Yes. Oh, yeah, baby. What a landing. I could have got that 400, but whatever, we'll take it. And it does add those scores up because, yeah, you can see my total in the top left racking up the points there. And I wonder if there's, like, another launch point on this stage. It doesn't seem like it. Um, like, on that first level there, you can. it looks like here you're just able to kind of go in different directions. Oh, no! <laughs> oh, as soon as the song kicks in, too, that's hilarious. Oh, man. Well, so much for weaving my way to the right over there. Um, so, okay, let's try this last stage here. Oh, man, that was too funny. Too funny, but this game is awesome. And obviously, by now, hopefully, you're checking this one out yourself if you like what you see. Um, but, yeah, I'm going to do this last stage, aim for the target. So that is, for the most part, the nature of the game. Um, I really like these opening, like, scenes that kind of show you, just like kind of Mario Kart style, that just kind of, like, show you the layout of the land, although it doesn't fully show you. Oh, I like this huge launch pad. Oh, shit. Oh, this is awesome. Oh, this is amazing. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, I got to not mess this up because this, this level looks so fun. It almost looks like it's like a course, like, it still says aim for the targets, but I feel like I'm trying to get down to the bottom. Oh, no! Oh, my God. Yeah, like, the music, it's so peppy and so relaxing. Oh, I love it. Oh. Dipsy do No, this is tough. Oh, man, yeah, I haven't had any uh, stages with this kind of speed, so let me see if I can... If you, you know, if you get zero points on each of your three attempts, they actually let you try it again, usually. Um, I guess I can't say that for certain, but there have been times that it let me uh, retry the stage. But there's also free play where you can play the cups individually or maybe even play the stages individually if you want to. Um, I can't remember exactly how the menu is in that uh, setting. Okay, let's get that multiplier. God, I love it. Oh, here we go. Bullseye. Uh, maybe I'll loop around a couple times. I got a little too much speed here. Only about 30 seconds left. Uh, I couldn't decide if I wanted to go for that item. This should take enough steam off, though, hopefully. Okay, I can definitely hit the landing. Or I should be able to. Oh, no. Don't roll, don't roll! You stupid! Ah. Well, maybe it'll give me another chance since I botched it. <laughs> nope, nope, definitely not for the cups. <laughs> or wait a minute, wait a minute. Do I get another shot at it? I do, heck yeah, let's go. Let's go, I don't even deserve it, but I'm gonna take it anyways because this level was easily the most fun. I shouldn't say easily the most fun. They've all been a blast, but... And I like how it's more like uh, the music's kind of like jukebox style. Like, it's not uh, like a song per stage or per uh, course. Again, I keep tripping over my words, not knowing what to call these levels, but levels will do just fine. Um, but yeah, it's, it's got like very... Uh, I don't know. It's got like a very Sega feel to it, like Dreamcast era... Sega, especially with the music, um, and I'm not always the biggest fan of games having, like, vocals in the, uh, um, soundtrack, but it definitely, definitely works here, um, more than works here, <laughs> um, and I, all the games that have this kind of jukebox, I should say all, it's always hyperbole over here, yes, give me that landing, I knew I had the magnet, so I had to go for it, um, 
But yeah, the games that do this kind of jukebox style, I guess it's a little easier to implement uh, as opposed to like playing like a game that has like a its own independent soundtrack, which I guess, I guess I don't know if these tunes were, you know, I don't know if these were plucked or if this is an original soundtrack for the game. Um, but whatever it is, it's amazing. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, there's so much variety in the approaches you can take to each stage. Oh, my God. So close. This is almost like a Madonna song. Oh, I don't know if I want to be doing this. Uh, let's go back around. Uh, let's go back around. Okay, I might be able to pull this off, at least with a landing. No, 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 no. Oh, I got way too much speed. And I keep thinking I can get, like, backspin, which you might be able to get some, but I definitely can't, like, uh... I can't, you know, it's not golf here. We're not playing Mario Golf. And we're certainly not playing Mario Golf uh, Super Rush. God, I cannot get into that game at all. Um, and I'm such a big fan of the Mario Golf franchise. That was such a letdown. I know it, a lot of people seem to like it, but not me. I'm not going to disparage it uh, in this, any more than that on this video here because, um, yeah, there's no need for that. But I don't know if anybody else agrees, but, man... What a letdown that was. Oh, Magnet. Yes, I, you almost need that on this stage, I feel. At least with the speed I'm approaching with. I was almost about to go for that item, but I don't need it. I want to keep the one I got. And let's get the big, let's get the big points, baby. 400. Come on. Yeah. I don't even deserve it after getting that redo. After getting that redo, I don't deserve it. But I wonder if, like, again, if you're playing multiplayer, maybe it doesn't let, like, as long as somebody lands, maybe it doesn't let you <laughs> redo if you get zero points. Um, but let's see if it awards me with anything here. Let's see. Congratulations. Grape wins. Yeah, it was no competition. I love it just, like, assigns you a random name. Um, but, yeah, this game is absolutely fantastic. Can't recommend Bonito Days enough. And, uh, yeah, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching, as always. And definitely check this one out. Um, but yeah, thanks again and take care.